Captain Savage back again for another review. It's in the title of the video, Last of Us Episode 1, the pilot. Um, quick review on it. Uh, I, I, I finished watching it about 10 minutes ago, so it's quite fresh. Um, really enjoyed it, man. Um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So the, the, the episode's about 79 minutes long, I think it is, which I didn't check before it started and I was, I was already tired before I started watching it, so... Yeah, when I realised it was that long, yeah, to you know, what I mean, wake myself up and that. But um, obviously, you know, it's an adaptation of the the computer game, the console game for PlayStation, um, The Last of Us. And I'm not actually a PlayStation guy, um, but I did used to play The Last of Us on the old PlayStation, the the first Last of Us. So um, I'm gonna start off by just saying, like, throughout the review, yeah, the source material from the game, um, quite a bit of it. But it doesn't really affect the, the viewing um, if you haven't played the game before. It's not one of those where if you don't play the game, you can't watch the, the show. Similar to like if you're, I mean similarly to like if you're watching a, a Marvel film or a DC film, you don't have to watch the comic. You just make sure you have to watch the the first show in the, se the series or the first movie in the series. So you can watch this fresh from the beginning. For the people that are fans and there are mega fans of this, this, um, this game... I won't call myself a mega fan, I'm just, I enjoyed the game a lot, but like I said, I'm an Xbox guy, so for me it was nice because I picked up stuff as I went along in terms of like set design, um, camera angles, cutscenes, what would have been in the game, but they've adapted it to the, 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 the show, but did it in a different way and a little bit of a different take on it. Um, so obviously the, the show follows um, Joel um, and, and Ellie. Now, kind of have to do a spoiler in the review of this because like I said the materials are there already when it comes to the game I'm not going to go too deep into stuff but basically the first scene of the, of the, of the show is um is, is uh the tv show and they're talking about the, the the fungus infection what can affect people and you know fungi needs uh a host to live on and it starts eating the host within um, people are not really listening to the scientists on the TV show, the, the, you know, I mean, they're making a, a joke of what he's saying, ah, oh, fungi, that's nothing's going to happen. He's like, well, yeah, the body temperature needs to be like 96 degrees Celsius or something for that to happen. But that, and they're like, well, that's never going to happen. It's like, well, what if it was if it ever happened, if the earth was ever to warm up, then what would happen to the humans? They wouldn't make it. And yeah, I kind of like the way they did that because it's kind of making it more modern to do with like global warming. Although... That's not going to happen to us. But it kind of plants the seed of if you don't listen, think bad things can happen. So, I like that. Um, Joel and his daughter, Sarah. Um, Sarah from the game. Uh, I like the character. Like So, so, so basically, with, with Sarah, this host does come down and start affecting the humans and turning people into zombies. And sadly, Sarah, his daughter, dies um, due to being shot by a guard. Um, when people are trying to evacuate the city, it's a shame because the 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 girl who played Sarah, I thought she was a great actor. She was a great young actor, and you know when you know what's coming because of playing the game previously. It's like I knew it was coming, but it still felt extra sad, like really bad. It felt really sad, and it kind of crept up on me because I hadn't played the game for so long. So I was like, she's just gone now. Like she's just gone from the whole TV show. Um, and it just made me think, like, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? That you can have such a big role, but then it's just over with. Um, obviously that affects Joel pretty bad, and then it goes 20 years on from there, and you can imagine the host, um, the fungi has affected everybody, that infection's run rife, and it's all hell's breaking loose, and, you know, they've got... You know how humans live in these apocalyptic movies and stuff like that, so... And we're following Joel's journey throughout that. Now, it's dope because it's like the whole episode is almost like... A few of the cutscenes in the in the game st stuck together, but they've elaborated on it. So they've elaborated on the characters. Um, he finds this 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 um, little girl who they're gonna use as a bargaining chip for. There's two sides to so like a um, army, um, so they're gonna use as a bargaining chip. You just think of what I'm saying. I, I'm trying to spoil not spoil it too much, but you know what happens when humans and apocalyptic stuff happens. They still end up fighting against each other, and one trying to have more power than the other. Um, and you can imagine, use the girl's bargaining chip, but she ends up forming a relationship with him in like a father-daughter type of way. And because he lost his daughter previously, that's how we go. So it's Ellie and Joel. Ellie's, 
she doesn't look she doesn't look like the girl in the game. Man, I've seen a few um, clips of people talking, complaining already. I'm like, bro, it's a move, it's it's a movie or TV show. Yeah, you try and you try and cast people to look like like people as much as you can and use makeup and stuff, but it's not never going to be perfect, to, especially when it's a young girl. There's less actors, so 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 she's really good as well. Like the way she acts, the way she she um she is throughout is very similar to the the um the girl in the game. And I like the fact that the characters that you would have seen previously, you get to see how the relationships were built and where to elaborate and stuff like that. So I loved it. Shout out to the directors and um, the cinematic um, directors and stuff because it's filmed perfect. It's 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 filmed pretty dope. Now, is it anything special in terms of a story? Well, so far we don't know because they're veer they're gonna. I'm guessing they're gonna start veering off away from source material, which I don't mind because most of the pub most of the people who are gonna watch this probably wouldn't have played the game because not everyone's gamers, so it doesn't really matter too much. I don't know if it will matter to the people who are super fans unless. They change something drastically, but it's dope, man. It's dope. It's 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 the certain like scenery and stuff. What makes you excited if you've seen it before? And if you haven't, it makes you wonder even more. And if you're one of like me, who remembers a bit of it and doesn't remember all of it, it gives you a bit of both, which I like. So I'm actually interested in see the next episode now, um, because it got left on a cliffhanger. The last scene, of course, last two scenes of it showed Joel bringing out a bit of a darker, more brutal side of him. Um, and I like that about him. And obviously it's Pedro Pascal, and you know that this guy's just taking over, man. From uh, ever, ever since um, him in Narcos, he's really elevated into. And that's not the first thing I've seen him in, but anytime from when he was in Narcos, he's just elevated and elevated. And to be fair, it's crazy. I watched that today because I did the Mandalorian trailer, which you guys would have seen on the channel, literally hours ago. So um, yeah, he's taking over and doing his thing. But I'm very excited to see what happens next. I'm going to keep up with it. I think they're dropping one episode a week so far, which is perfect for me to try and review these because I hate when they, they throw them all out. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do that. But let me know what you think in the comment section. If you haven't watched Last of Us or if you haven't played the game or both, go and have it, give it a watch. It's, I think it's on, if you're in England, it's on Sky, Sky Now TV, whatever, anything like that. And I think if you're abroad, it's on Hulu, maybe, or HBO Max. It might be HBO. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. I've been your boy, Savage. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Right.